Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to go over a quick way of how I make cookie cutters or designs in Silhouette Studio to bring into the Silhouette Alta software and to build a 3D print. Um, this particular design was um, from another member that was having some issues, so I'm going to use it as an example for her to be able to see what I changed and how I fix things. To start with, I always zoom in to my design and look for issues. One of the problem issues that I saw were in this area here and here. So to fix these, you select the design and you come over here and this is what's called node editing. And you'll see all the little dots. What you're going to want to do is select one of the dots and hit delete. That removed that extra dot, so now that's a smooth line. So we'll come back in here and do the same here. And we're going to look at these here. And we're going to delete these until we have another smooth corner. These are also where you can go in and grab them and move them around to make them more even in line and I'm going to go ahead and delete that one too and that take care of that um, and then you can take and scroll through and look for any other areas of issue that you want to get rid of um, another thing I'm seeing you see these little dots here these are extra noise that came in with this file for whatever reason you want to make sure you get rid of all those I see more in here delete those um, here's one here this is why zooming into your design is very important because every one of these little specs is going to actually be seen in the design the machine is going to read it as something it needs to address and what it needs to do um, a personal thing for me is all of this stuff being um, misaligned would bother me. So what I would do is come in here and take this design apart. I'm going to use the knife tool and I'm going to cut it across here. And you see how it broke that for me? I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so now these two designs are separate. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out some where you can see everything. And when I go back to my selection tool, I can take and bring that away. Okay, so we know we want to make this shape, but let's make it more, you know, uniformed in its look. That way when it prints, it'll actually be a rectangle shape. Come in and grab your rectangle tool, and I'm just going to lay it relatively close to this design. That way I can keep about the same proportions. Select that, come in here and grab another one, and you're going to make this L shape. Okay, so now you have those two designs. I'm going to come back in with my selection tool and grab the one that I cut out. And I'm just going to delete that. These two, I'm going to drag a box around both of them and grab both of them and right click and weld. That makes that now one piece. I do see a section that maybe I didn't line up all that great. So I'm going to come in and note edit again. Delete one of those. Move that down just a touch. And now we're all a lot better off than what we were to begin with. What you're going to want to do at this point, once you have those all set up that you want, you want to grab both uh, or grab that and drag that up to your top shape. And you want just a little bit of overhang at the top one. Zoom back out. And I'm going to draw the box where I can grab both of those shapes. Right click. Well, that didn't work too well. Let's try that again. Drag around, right click, and weld. Now we have a more uniform shape down here, and this will be the design that we're going to be looking for. If you see when I did that, you see this little extra box? That extra box tells me there's another little piece of what I call garbage out there. So we're going to drag a little box around it, grab it, and delete it. Get rid of all the noise. And if you want to do that, if you take and do that, drag around your whole design space you see there's only one box there there's no other miscellaneous garbage floating around the design so it looks like we should be good okay so here's our basic design we want this as a cookie cutter when i drug this into the silhouette 3d software and use the cookie extrusion it cut out all kinds of shapes that 
weren't there. We have no explanation as to why. Um, there's a glitch in the system. Um, the slicing software just didn't slice it properly. So the best way to do this is to build it yourself. So one, we know we want to make these this area in here just a little bit wider. So we're going to do an offset just to give it a little bit more thickness. Um, I want to keep the corners square in this area. So we're going to do the square here. That will keep all your corners sharp. And I leave it at the um, 0.125. It's a good enough little area that it's there. So I hit apply. What I'm going to do now is take an, the inside piece and we're going to get rid of that. We're going to delete that. This will now be the inside of the cookie cutter. To make a solid base for the back of it, you're going to want to do another offset. I leave it the same, that 1.25. That is going to be your outside solid piece on the back of the cookie cutter where this inside line is going to be one of the lines for the inside, which is actually going to cut out the dough and everything on the inside. So right now we have the back and we have one of the inside. For 3D software, it needs two lines, preferably. Um, it should be able to extrude and do what it needs to do on its own, but sometimes it just doesn't do it. So we're going to do it for them. We're going to take the inside line and we're going to do an internal offset. So now you see three lines and we're going to apply that. This back line, we're going to color it in red just that way you can see it. Maybe we'll do purple that way. Yeah, there we go. Now we can still see the lines. So that is going to be the back of your cookie cutter. This is going to be the area that the cookie cutter actually cuts. So we want to take both of these two, grab them both, and we're going to make it a compound path because we want this to be one design. We don't want the inside field. We just want the, the in between the lines field. So make a compound path. So when you color this in, that is what you're looking for. So this is going to be the back. And what your red lines are going to be is going to be the raised up portion of your 3D design that is actually going to be what cuts the cookie. So we're done here. This is as easy as that. We're, this, this is what we want our design to look like. So we're going to go and do File, Save As, Save to your hard drive. And this is just the folder I'm going to put it in. So from here, we want to go to the Silhouette 3D software. Make sure we're in Design. File, open, locate the design that you just saved, and open it. Just, just extrude it. Just do it like normal. The normal cookie cutter is giving us issues, and we just preferably don't like it. So here you can see, you can see the base here, and then you can see where the cookie cutter is going to be. Well, that cookie cutter is not deep enough for me. So what you're going to want to do is, because this file's already here, right click on it and ungroup it. You're going to want to take the top shape, and if you want, you can kind of move it off to the side, that way you can see what you're looking at here. And you're going to want to come up here to the height. The height is going to tell you how tall that wall is. The same way with here. If you wanted to make this thinner or thicker, you could adjust that height there as well. But um, I've already printed this, so I'm happy with the height that the, the base is. So I'm only going to work with how tall I want the cookie cutter. The last one I did, I just did a 0.5. Again, you can adjust it to whatever size you want it, how thick you want it. And that's it. So we're going to take and drag this back over our cookie cutter shape. Get it all lined back up where we want it. And you can use this little square to drag all the way around. That way you can see exactly where everything is. At that point, you want to do like I did before. Drag your big box. That way it grabs everything. 
right click and group it. If you don't group it, it is not going to print everything that's here. It is only going to print what's sitting literally on the bed, which would have been just the back. By grouping it, you make it one design, and this exactly is what it's going to print. At that point, you go to 3D print. I do not have an Alta attached to this computer at this time, so but it will finish slicing it for me. Tells you it's going to take an hour and 19 minutes. You can take a lot of people, I mean, your box isn't here, but if you right click and hold it down, you can drag around your design and see everything. You want to make sure that there's no gaps in anything. And as you see, it's a pretty nice, clean design. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll in and out. So this would be what it would print. So really, it's that easy to create your own designs for cookie cutters, um, really for any kind of 3D designs you want in Silhouette Studio and bring it in here as well and be able to manipulate it and make things as tall or as, you know, thin as you want. If you want the back bigger, you would just do a bigger offset in Silhouette. And that's really it. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I will post some pictures of the finished product to give you an idea of what this turned out like. Um, but hopefully that answers some questions about some of the how-tos and what you can do in the Silhouette Studio and how you can bring it into the 3D software. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer as much as I can.